Hi, VC. Uh, hope everyone is doing well in uh, quarantine, <laughs> social distancing. Um, that's exactly uh, what I'm doing right now. If you can see the title of this video, I really want to talk about the Beatles, their albums, um, some solo albums, things like that. Um, and I've really come back to them a lot with this whole coronavirus thing, because, you know, I just want musical comfort food. Um, and the Beatles really are that. Um, my relationship with the Beatles starts when I was a much younger. Um, they are my grandpa's favorite band. Um, I've talked about my grandpa before. He wrote a bunch of country music songs, a few of them uh, done by the Kendalls and stuff like that. Um, but he never really played country music for me. He always played um, the Beatles um, and Michael Jackson. <laughs> but uh, not, not just showing Michael Jackson. <laughs> um, the, the first song he ever taught me on guitar was uh, Eight Days a Week. Um, and I feel like I learned in my life shortly after that. But yeah, I had a, had a big thing with the Beatles when I was a lot younger. Um, went a long amount of time, um, just not really concerned with them. It wasn't exactly a contrarian thing, but I don't know. I, I think there's just a bit of an expectation, um, especially with online music communities that, that you have to be discovering, you have to be consuming, um, all of these things, you know, art just, it, it, it's, it's a continuous thing, um, and I think I just went a while without realizing that into adulthood, I really love the Beatles. <laughs> They're great. Um, and my girlfriend really likes them too. Uh, that's definitely been something that's um, got me listening to them more again. Um, but I pulled out uh, a stack of my Beatles records, um, some solo albums, stuff like that. And I, I'm just going to go through um, and talk about them. Notable omissions. Um, I don't have any of the early stuff. Um, usually where I am, the, the U.S. copies of stuff, first of all, I really do like the U.S. albums. Um, not the truncated, not, not like R U.S. Rubber Soul or U.S. Revolver. I stay away from those. But Yesterday and Today, Beatles 65, um, uh, they're escaping me. The Beatles second album, that's, uh, that's a good one too. Um, when I usually find them, they're really beaten up and overpriced so none of the early stuff and no abbey road um because i just don't have a copy of abbey road um that's probably my favorite beatles album though uh and let it be no let it be i like that album a lot too but uh anyway i'll just i'll get right into it um this is the these three are the first beatles albums that i bought um, I got them at Barnes and Noble, I think in 2015. This is Rubber Soul. These are all the Beatles in mono pressings. They're wonderful. They are long out of print, and I wish I would have bought more. That, that's 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 all I can say. Uh, I think I thought about buying more, and I just didn't. I guess I just thought they would be around. They were always at Barnes and Noble. I could always find them. Um, which sucks, because I would love to have a hard day's night. But yeah, this is Rubber Soul. Um, I love, love Rubber Soul. Um, Norwegian Wood might be my favorite Beatles song. I think, I, I, I think I've been saying it, it was for a while. Um, but I just love that. Um, I love In My Life as well, uh, especially the version uh, that Judy Collins does. If I ever, if there's any song that will play at my wedding, it will be the Judy Collins version of In My Life. Uh, but yeah, Rubber Soul, so, so, so good. Uh, I'm Looking Through You as well, Michelle. I, I, everything, it's just a wonderful album. Um, the, <laughs> sometimes I hesitate to call things overrated, um, but I think if there was a one where... My opinion on it doesn't stack up to overall opinion. It would probably be Revolver. Um, I know a f I, I know a lot of people really live and die by Revolver, and I love it. I do. Um, it's just it's not it's not quite there yet for me. I think the innovations in production style and stuff like that, I think those are things that are lost on me a little bit just being younger um, 
you know, modern production techniques. Not that this album doesn't sound amazing, but uh, Tomorrow Never Knows, I really just, I'm not sure why Tomorrow Never Knows is considered, like, the greatest thing of all time, but I really like it. Um, I love Taxman. Um, I love I'm Only Sleeping. This is one of my favorite Beatles songs also. Um, love You Too is great. Um, Yellow Submarine is fun. I don't care what anyone says. I, I love Yellow Submarine. Andrew Bird Can Sing. Uh, Dr. Robert. And now that I think about it, I mean, I like Tomorrow Never Knows. It's definitely one of the better ones on there. It's just not, uh, it's not other tracks that <laughs> I'll talk about down the line. Uh, right now, actually. Sergeant Pepper. Also, Beatles and Mono Pressing. Um, I, I love this album. I, it, it's just wonderful. Um, and as far as its reputation, um, I don't want to blame that on the music. I think, uh, and, and not that I don't like music journalism. I consume nothing but music journalism. I love it. Um, but I think uh, this, that expectation, it, it falls on the shoulders of uh, people who call this the greatest album of all time to help communicate that. This is not my favorite album of all time. Uh, I think it's wonderful, and I don't place that blame on the music because I don't think any of the music on this is operating that it's supposed to be the greatest thing of all time. Um, I think every track on here is just amazing. It's wonderful. It's it's colorful. Um, it's just, it's happy music. It's something I always want to hear. Um, I mean, every track, really. I think when I'm, when I'm 64 might be my favorite. Um, and A Day in the Life, I do get the hype. That A, a Day in the Life is just, it's such a ubiquitous, um, fun-sounding song. Um, I guess you could, you could cut Good Morning, Good Morning, maybe? That might, uh, that might be the weak link, but I, I love this album. Uh, and no, I don't think it's the greatest album of all time, but no, you, people shouldn't put that kind of expectation onto art. But anyway, yeah, Sergeant Pepper. Um, next up, this, uh, the rest of these, none of them are reissues, I think. Those are the only Beatles reissues I have. This is Magical Mystery Tour. Also love this album, love every single song on it. Um, not, not a bad moment at all. All killer, no filler. Um, uh, Baby or a Rich Man. That's another one that I always say is my favorite Beatles song. Uh, I love Baby or a Rich Man. Or Across the Universe. I think I could make an argument that that one's my favorite. But I don't have to let it be, so. But yeah, Magical Mystery Tour. This is great. Um, this is the first non-reissue Beatles album that I got. But doesn't have the booklet it has like three pages of it but the booklet is missing but i see really beaten up copies of this a lot um and if i'm i'm feeling mean i'll just <laughs> I'll, I'll cannibalize it you know i've done that a few times i cannibalized my physical graffiti took the insert out of one through another um same with like live dead by the grateful dead i think i made like a deal with the antique store owner that I got it from that if I bought a certain amount of records he would just give me the insert out of a copy of it. Anyway, that's not the Beatles. Um, the White Album. This is a 1970 pressing. Uh, it has all the pictures. This is the one that I got most recently. Um, I got this on eBay, I think right before this whole mess started happening. Um, yeah, I'll, ta I'll take out Ringo. I'll take out the rest. <laughs> Yeah, the White Album. Um, also, probably a contender for my favorite Beatles album. Uh, I don't have Abbey Road, uh, and I figure I won't talk about something that I can't sit there and hold. Uh, I think Abbey Road is my favorite, though. Um, but I really love this one, too. Um, I kind of got in the mix of uh, playing this on flights. Uh, cause I used to hate flying. I'm okay with it now, but, um, it became a thing wherever, whenever I would fly, I would listen to the White Album, cause it would usually end up being about the length of the flight. Um, 
when the deluxe edition came out, it was even better, uh, because it, it's like six hours, so, you know, great, the White Album, love, love, love it, um, unabashedly, my, my favorite Beatle, I'm basic, I'm sorry, John, <laughs> He just, uh, I don't know, I mean, especially in, in terms of solo material, he just, he kind of smokes the rest of them. Um, a notable omission you will see is, I don't have anything by George. Um, and not that I dislike George, but there's kind of this opinion, I guess, that like, that George was stifled, and that if they would let George have done more on the records, blah, 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 and blah, this, that, and the third. Um, one, I think all of the songs George writes don't stylistically fit with the Beatles. Um, there are a lot of songs on All Things Must Pass where, I, I mean, I don't know how you could put that on a Beatles album. Maybe Wah Wah. You could put Wah Wah on a Beatles album. Um, and second of all, I think John and Paul kind of knew the good ones. I think, I think they chose the good songs by George. Um, and really, after living in the material world, it's just, George has nothing. And I'm sorry, like, I, I know there are, like, those George heads, but, like, Dark Horse or Extra Texture or that self-titled album, really the only thing he did after living in the material world that clicks with me is Cloud Nine. And that's because I love Jeff Lynne. Uh, so, yeah. Cloud Nine is great. I don't have Cloud Nine. Uh, I don't have any George. But yeah, sorry. There's my... There it is. Controversial Beatles opinion. Out. There it is. My favorite Beatle is John. Uh, this is uh, my second favorite Beatles solo album. Um, and for me, John stayed pretty consistent. Um, I know a lot of people don't like those ones with Yoko, Milk and Honey and Double Fantasy, I adore those albums. Um, and I even love the Yoko songs on them too. Like, Yes, I'm Your Angel? That's such a wonderful pop song. And to, back to this album. This album is, is so great too. Um, this is a 77 reissue. It's on Purple Capital. It's not on Apple. Um, yeah, I love this album. God, My Mummy's Dead. Um, well, Well, Well. Isolation. Just wonderful. Um, darker record, for sure. Um, I don't have Imagine. I think Imagine is my favorite album by John. Um, this one, Amazing 2, Plastic Ona Band. Only Ringo album that I have. Bukus of Blues. Fun, 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 fun. Uh, that's what it is. Um, it's Ringo doing country songs. I mean, I don't know. Those those Ringo albums are just so fun to to throw on, like the sentimental journey where he's doing pop standards for his mom. <laughs> It's terrible, but it's great. And the album Ringo, uh, with with my boy, my boy Nilsson on it. I mean, that album's just a party. Um, so yeah, I mean, Ringo solo material. It it's it's not conventionally good, but it's got a place for me. Um, I think this one is my favorite. Bukus of Blues. This is a Beatles compilation, uh, sixty-seven to seventy. I need sixty-two to sixty-six. Um, I think that's the better collection of songs, um, but I mean, it's Beatles songs, so, uh, there's just more on that one, um, and I don't like it, they, they left some stuff off this, like, Rain, um, is Hey Jude on this? Hey Jude is on this, okay. Well, never mind. They're probably about equal. <laughs> but yeah, 67 to 70. Uh, and finally, I inadvertently have the most Paul McCartney stuff. Um, again, not my not my favorite Beatle. Probably. Eh, I don't know. I don't know where I would rank Paul in that. But these are the records I have by him. I have McCartney 1. Um, I think this is great. I think it's quaint. Um... 
just really enjoyable. Maybe maybe I'm amazed. Is uh is very sweet. Yeah, McCartney. Um, my favorite and probably everybody else's favorite Ram. Um, just overflowingly creative album. Um, and I think I've mentioned before, I'm a huge Robert Christigal fan. I think his review of this and his review of Wildlife by Wings are the only ones where I'm just like, just, I have an aversion to it. It just seems so dickish and negative. Um, I love this album. Um, Uncle Albert Admiral Halsey. I mean, I know that's the big hit, but how is that not the most fun song ever written? Um, but yeah, Ram. Uh, and on the run, pretty good. Not as good as the other ones. I like it a lot, though. And on the run. Um, my friends love this. I'm not right there with them. I like Temporary Secretary. Um, I like that song, Waterfalls. Um, McCartney 2, considered like the cult classic one because it's so weird. It's nice. I like it. I like the seven inch that comes with this of Temporary Secretary Live. Um, and then finally, I have a sealed copy of Wings at the Speed of Sound for some reason. I don't even remember getting this. I really don't. Um, maybe somebody sent it to me as, like, padding for another record. Uh, I might open it. I mean, it's a cutout. It's got a BB hole. And, I, I mean, I get in the mood for silly love songs every once in a while. So, yeah. Wings at the speed of sound. Um, but anyway, that's... Uh, it's a it's a meager collection. Not I mean, it's not huge compared to some people who are Beatles fanatics. Um but that but that's all of them and uh I just love it. I, I really do. I love the Beatles. Um you know, usually in my descriptions for videos I put some little thing about how I waffle. Um this video is pure waffle. Uh but, you know, those comfort foods. Uh, and if there is, there's one thing I want to say to everyone who could be, uh, just nervous about being quarantined, social distancing, um, you know, being stressed about being inside, um, or their job or anything like that, um, do what you know how to do. Uh, you know, do the things that you love that, uh, you're able to do, um, which is what I have just been doing a lot, um, over these past two weeks. I'm out of work as well. Uh, my income is cut off. Um, and I've been playing records. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's keeping things exciting. I have this whole big room here um, full of the thing that I love the most. And uh, if I have to go a year or so where that's all I do is wake up in the morning and come in here and fish something out, the Bee Gees idea, whatever, something random. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm fine with that. I think I'll, I think I'll make the best of it. I think there are other people in the VC who are echoing that sentiment as well. Uh, Derek Higgins is putting, always dishing out straight facts <laughs> on Facebook. Um, good music, uh, you know, similar philosophy. Uh, so if you have made it this far in the video, uh, thank you. Um, I'm probably going to make a lot more videos now that I'm stuck inside. So anyway, thank you, VC.